This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. An Islamic center in a western suburb appears to be the target of a malicious hoax. WGN's Tanya Francisco is live with details on a fake website that promotes violence using the name of the Islamic Center of Wheaton. Tanya? Dana, the website is put up, was put up in the name of the Islamic Center of Wheaton. Now, the actual owners of that website have contacted the FBI. They have requested a full investigation. But not only that, they have also contacted the Wheaton police and asked them to step up security around the center for fear of the uh, <coughs> community's concern for their community after this fake website popped up last Friday. Now, it uses the name, logo, and a similar design as the real site and has the exact same web address except for the domain name, but it's filled with shocking and hate-filled claims about Islam and the center. It even makes mention of several local, national, and international events that have made headlines as of late. The Chicago chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations calls the fake website malicious, dangerous, and laden with criminal components and believes radical anti-Muslim sentiments are behind the fake site. This is somebody who's disturbed by positive relations between Muslims and Christians in the Wheaton area and as such is trying to invent, make up a false narrative of radicalism that is projected and superimposed on this very moderate and very uh, well-to-do mosque in Wheaton that reaches out to its various neighbors. Now, CARE is asking state and national authorities to remove this website and prosecute whoever is behind it to the fullest extent of the law. Now, the center is advising anyone who visits this fake site to be careful because if you click on any of the links, they say there may be malicious software there.